So in this lesson, we have a little checklist of some of the things that we want to accomplish. Uh, I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up views. So uh, I'm just going to steal some code and explain it from a different project I had. Um, we're going to make the um, view follow the player's position so that we can sort of explore the map. So I'm just going to go into this project, copy this view, and now we're in our main. I'm just going to paste that after the main window. Okay, so here's what we did. We created a new view called view1 and then we set the view size equal to the size of the window. So this stuff in here doesn't matter because we're changing it here. Uh, the size of the window, so we went window.getSize.x which is the width of the window which was set up here window.getSize.y which was the height 800 right here we set the center um, using half of the view and then we used our window we access window which was set up here dot set view as view 1 so now the window will be looking through view 1 so if you had multiple views you would you could change the view on the fly to maybe view two if you wanted. Uh, then what we did was uh, we went window dot set view view one which is kind of redundant and uh, view one dot set center player one dot rec dot get position. So this is going to update where the view actually is and it's always going to be on the player now. So we should be able to move around and it should show our view moving with the player. Apparently not. Let's try whoa. Let's try this. Okay, so that wasn't redundant. Uh we do need um window dot set view view one so now our little player can wander around and the view will be following him wherever he goes so this will be a lot easier for us to create a bunch of rooms and then we can explore and have a lot of fun doing that so let's take a look at the other things on our checklist um, Let's create some rooms just manually and we'll sort of connect them together to create like kind of like a house sort of thing that we can wander through. So in the in one of the previous um, episodes, we created this thing that allowed us to have a custom room. And so we'll just copy that. Actually, maybe we'll use this one. Okay, I'll, I'll edit this one. How about? And we'll delete this guy. Okay. We're just going to put these variables up here so that they're always there and get rid of these ints down here so that we can keep duplicating stuff. This this custom room involves generate randoms so we want to make it very manual so what we're going to do is just comment this out and use that one that we copied. 
and we're going to change this to let's say five five and we're going to start it at uh, zero zero and right here we have destructible boxes um, I think we'll just take those out and we'll do that at a different spot so now we should have created a 5x5 five five room So one, two, three, four, five, it looks like six. And I believe that we're starting at, we should be starting at zero, zero. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's see. room start x room start y is zero. Oh, I know it is at zero but we actually made it so that our view is um, centering before it wasn't centering uh, so now we sort of shift it over like this so zero zero is in fact right here but our player is just a bit different so the reason why there's a gap here is because we also kept our uh, vertical door position at five so if we change that to like three, then it shouldn't look so stupid. Yeah, there we go. So we have a little room right here. So let's do the same thing. Actually, maybe we want to have, no, that's fine for now. We can add custom doors afterwards so if we want we have another uh, five by five room and uh, we could make it uh, a big room instead so we could have it a uh, 10 by 10 room and we will start it at um, 5 times 50 excuse me and um, the Y will start at 0 so it will be lined up and this should get rid of the first door that we set up because there's it's going to be filled in. So we need to actually uh, compensate for that. So right here we have uh, the if statement. So if it's the vertical door location so we're just going to have another one of those so we'll call it vertical door location right no no it's not right it's a left wall vertical door location um, left so vertical door location left equals three and we'll just copy this and paste this and we'll just make that a default 100 because it's not going to be a room that big so it's not going to matter the room won't show up and we'll go int vertical room location and then we'll make this right Right, right, and right. So that should work now.
yeah so now we have um, this working so we got a little room here we got another room right here so how about we make it so so that there um, are horizontal door possibility so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up right here we're probably gonna delete that custom room after we may as well just delete it right now um, because we're just adding so much stuff to the other ones so we'll do these can just be set to zero int horizontal horizontal door location top equals zero int horizontal door location bottom equals zero we'll do up because we did left and right for the other ones up and down So we're just setting it equal to 100 because it's the thing doesn't go up to 100 so it won't be included. In case anyone's getting confused why I'm doing that. Um, so yeah, so let's say this is the second room. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a, um, let's say a bottom, a bottom to it at five so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, well we didn't add one right here either so we'll add that for the left and we'll add one this is the right wait am I just being retarded we were doing vertical uh, door location right what I meant to do was horizontal whoops okay this is gonna get very confusing for a second okay just bear with me here. Okay, so we have horizontal so vertical up Yeah, vert vertical. No, 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 no. I'm retarded. We were right. Okay, yeah, this is right. Okay. So I believe this one's uh, down. But we'll just test it. And this is the first room. So horizontal location down. Let's just make sure that uh, everything is still working after I was screwing with it. Okay, good, it still works. Uh, so let's see if that was in fact uh, the horizontal down. 
by adding a door there. So we'll add it at two. And this should be in the first room. Yep, so it's at two, so that worked. And this one is horizontal up. And we don't really want a door there, so we'll make it 100 again. Okay, all the pain is done now, so that's good. Now we can start rapid firing the doors in. So let's say we wanted to add a, let's see here. Okay, so this is working. Maybe we wanted to also add one at the top here. So let's do that. So horizontal up, we can also add one at five there as well. And so we'll add another room. And this one is going to start at um, the other one was 10 big so the Y has to start at 5 times or 10 times 50 and the X is actually starting at the same position as the other one so how about we make the room size to be six and we won't have any of the vertical doors but we do have to match up the other door from the uh, horizontal top which was at five so that does match and the bottom one we can just exclude it Okay, so there we go. We just created a room right here. So that's cool. So we can just like custom create rooms however we want. And it's going to be the same process that we've been doing right now. So my, uh, can, my laptop's actually almost a foldy hard drive. So I need to transfer over to my external drive quickly and then... I'll be making the next video where we'll continue on uh, creating some rooms and we're going to add randomly spawned um, destructible boxes and also uh, enemies in them as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time.